Hi, folks. This is Miss Katie Saraduck. She is, I guess, pre-K to eight deportes slash gym teacher. And we are here to talk to you guys about an idea we have for an outdoor learning space. We envision this learning space being something that incorporates all the awesome things we love to do here at Dota Academy in the outdoors. And we wanted to give this idea to you guys to see if we can get some alumni and some community involvement. So without further ado, we're gonna go ahead and walk you through our idea. Okay, so this is a little schematic of outline of what we have um, planned. So right now you can see this is Odenheimer and this is the parking lot, which is where we are right now. We're envisioning a mulch path leading out towards among the trees and out towards this already established space where we would like to create an outdoor classroom. You can also see there's a few pathways that branch out. This would go out towards the river to incorporate using that. Um, this would go out towards a future parking lot. And this path over here would lead out towards the archeological dig of Riverside that is already in progress and that we hope to expand, especially with the archeology span class starting. Uh, these blue boxes are all future spaces for learning spaces, um, such as a stage for drama, learning labs and out living classrooms for some of the life sciences and some also some physical education components which Michael will talk about in just a minute um, which we really gleaned some great ideas from our trip to Iceland this summer incorporating the natural environment. So without further ado let's go take a walk over to our space. Alrighty just to ground everybody really quickly the idea is that this space would extend from the front doors of Odenheimer Hall all the way out into this wooded area that is right sandwiched between the Burlington Bristol Bridge and the river. So we're gonna go ahead and walk you along the trail here a little bit. We'd like the trail to be playful, weaving in and out of the nature that we have on campus. We wanna incorporate the fact that we have a lovely campus space. Uh, as you can see here, we're stopping really quickly at what we envision to be a learning space. As Katie just talked about, these learning spaces would be designed to be cross-curricular from pre-K to 12. And just to give you an idea of how we are already doing that, over in the corner here we have already established an archaeological dig of Riverside Manor, uh, which Mr. Newman is very excited about and we are very happy to be one of the few schools in the country that will have an active archaeology, archaeology class uh, digging up what they've already found to be a very interesting space. But right here we have this lovely voice space that could be used to establish outdoor learning labs for discovery and life science. Uh, playground spaces such as the ones we did see in Iceland, uh, we jokingly called it survival training. These playgrounds are meant to be more uh, engaging for the children in that they are more natural. We're talking about tree stumps, logs, swing ropes, uh, things that get the kids to create within the space. As we move forward here, we can see that we already have this established environment thanks to Miss Bonnie Smith, our discovery and lower school librarian. She has gone through painstakingly and established a great spot where kids can come out, sit on their buckets, and learn about the environment. What we'd like to do is make this stage one of our installation. This circular bowl would be mulched, and we would install an outdoor classroom space. As you see, we already have a fire pit here with a great view of the river. What we want to do is move that fire pit back and establish a circular seating area that would be designed to be inclusive and collaborative. That circular seating area would expand out into an amphitheater style area on the next couple of rows. That way we could install, say, a stage space here with the backdrop of the river and a trail extending out to the river to use for our many adventures down there, including the cardboard boats, the canoes, the kayaks. Out this way, we would like to see a trail added to include anything that Burlington City does, including park space, uh, potential parking lot for us, etc. Around the corner here, you can actually see the starts, the starting of a, an outdoor learning space that Miss Smith already uses. Uh, this awesome hollowed out log was brought to us by Mr. McGee, and the kids use that as kind of like a little adventurous space to do everything from playground type activities to seeing what they can find. What do you see is what Miss Bonnie always asks, and in a log like that, you're bound to see a lot of interesting critters. Uh, really, this space is designed to be the core foundation of what we're trying to do. And this is where we'd like to start. We'd like to get this installed in time for Alumni Day. And so we're hoping to have community involvement, student involvement, and faculty involvement to create this awesome space for us to use and learn from. We hope you enjoyed the presentation, and we look forward to hearing from y'all 